Jawa Surprise was a relatively simple video, but it presented its own unique challenges. The first puzzle to solve was how to create a sandy looking setting to animate. For my two sand people videos, I went with a tan brick built surface mixed with actual rocks. I wasn't satisfied with this approach, so for my R2D2 unrestrained video, I used my typical brown clay surface, also mixed with actual rocks. Neither of these methods really satisfied me. After consulting several other animators, James Moore of Spastic Chihuahua suggested I try kinetic sand. It sticks together, so you don't end up with sand everywhere. It's brilliant. At a first glance, it just looks like normal sand, but it sticks together, can be molded, and keeps its shape. I took a large piece of cardstock and spread a thin layer of white clay over top of it. I then worked the kinetic sand into the clay. When I finished, I had a large poseable surface that looks a heck of a lot like desert sand. The middle layer of clay allowed me to stick characters down into the surface and have them stand and walk around without really needing to worry about balance. Another tedious challenge was the Jawa's eyes. I duplicated my layer, masked just around the Jawa's faces, and increased the brightness and saturation of the yellow to make the eyes really pop. <laughs> Creating videos using classic Star Wars characters and settings is really fun, and allows me to relive a lot of my childhood wonder for the original films. I still have a number of Star Wars videos in production, so make sure to check back soon so that you can see them as they come out. Thanks very much for watching, please subscribe, and I hope to have some cool new behind the scenes for you soon. Thanks guys! Hello Anakin, it's time to give you what you deserve. No! No! I hate sand! I hate sand! It's rough! It's coarse! It gets everywhere! No!